Welcome back. Uh, the U.S. State Department is condemning comments by South Sudan's opposition leader that are, uh, call for a return to war against the government, uh, saying it is inexcusable and shows a lack of concern for the well-being of the people. Now, Rick Machado, the country's first, uh, former first vice president and his allies, ordered their forces to reorganize for armed resistance against the South Sudanese government. Now, State Department spokesman John Corby told reporters that the declaration, and here a quote, indicates a lack of concern for the well-being of the nation's people, many of whom continue to struggle just to survive and just as much want to see peace. Machar led a two-year rebellion against forces loyal to his longtime rival, President South Kiir, before the two sides reached a peace deal in August of 2015. Now, uh, for more insight into the situation, joining me in the studio is Stephen Parkour. He's a member of the Political Bureau, Sudanese People's Liberation Movement, in our position. Stephen, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you very much, Vincent, for mm -hmm. giving me this opportunity to communicate with our people. Great. Now, let's communicate with your people. You know, most South Sudanese people we meet say they're tired of war. They're tired. Why would you, why would your side want to subject them to the brutality of this unending war? Our people are tired of war. Mm -hmm. And that was why we signed peace agreements before Kir even signed it. Mm -hmm. And we went to Juba. That was to rescue our people from this brutal war. And our people are sick of this war. But it is not the SPLM Iowa declaring war now. It is the people of South Sudan actually declaring war. No, 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 you, you it's the leadership. War. No, 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 listen to me, listen to me. Listen yeah. to me. Yeah. The leadership is just managing an anger of the people who have been brutalized by this dictatorial regime in Juba. You know, it is funny that the, the United States and the international community have not condemned violation of the agreements by self here well documented by the United Nations uh, Ex panel of experts, uh, JMAX and all the international observers. The vice president, the first vice president, Dr. Yak Mashar, was almost killed in Juba in his sincere effort to implement the agreement. That was not condemned. Mm. Now, let's say what, this. What let's, say this. Saying, let's say this. Uh, let's say there have been violations of this uh, peace deal, and in fact, by both sides, you do accuse each other. Is war the best thing for the people of South it Sudan is, who have is. already been killed, or raped, what, uh, ran out of their houses and but, live in refugee by the camps? Way, uh, the sentiment of the people is actually now war. And it is not SPLM IO, mm -hmm. delirium war. We are just responding to the call of the people. And you see it in Pibur, uh, the, the, the former uh, rebel movement would, yeah. would sign an agreement with yeah. the government as defected because the government has violated that agreement. Dr. Lama Call would let peaceful resistance inside as the legitimate opposition in the government mm -hmm. has also declared war. Mm -hmm. the, it, it is the sentiment of the people, and, and, and I don't want you to also take it from this context. Mm -hmm. Our message has been a challenge to the international community to actually challenge the government of the day to implement the peace agreement. That one uh, is not forthcoming. Yeah, uh, now the international community is ready to send in a force, a military force. They're, 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 Will you engage that force? Oh, Will yes. you, are you by, willing by to the, fight by, with by, the force? By the way, we were the one who demanded yeah. this force. And it's not coming as we speak. Mm -hmm. And the current government is committing genocide in Western Baragazal in, but uh, but in, war, in, in, war in, in, in will actually Apanai. create opportunities for more killings, right? By the way, Any war. the government is killing people as we speak. Mm -hmm. And you are telling us not to kill that government. Mm -hmm. So you, This government has attempted to kill American diplomats, rape Americans. The uh, American government is not condemning that. Okay. Now, the question is... This government is, is raping our citizens, mm -hmm. is killing our citizens. Uh, that is not also condemned. But your side believes... To fight war this is not is the solution. The it's not the solution. Actually, this Very agreement is a brainchild of the SPLM IO. Very quick question. We SPLIO. signed it first and we went there to implement it. SPLIO the international right now community is divided, has not done its part. It's a two. It's not, it's not, it's not, uh, the SPLM IO is not uh, divided. We have one SPLM, in Juba, one SP, out of Juba. By the way, SPLM has, has remained intact as we speak. The leadership of the SPLM IO has survived this assassination attempt and it is intact. But we're, the, some the, of you the, are the part food, of the government, The, the right? food you see in Juba yeah. have just been bought off. So they're not part of you? They are not part of us. You know what? This and, is a, and actually, they have no impact on us. Mm -hmm. We'll see how this goes, but uh, be sure 
many of your people tell us they don't want to see war. And, uh, you know, we might call you back here to come and talk to us a little more. Thanks Thank a lot, Stephen, much. for now. And that is uh, Stephen Parkwall. He's a member of the Political Bureau of Sudanese People's Liberation Movement in the opposition.